Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to create a simple JPO server. So we will come into the topic. Uh, so in this video we are going to create a simple JPO server uh, using Eclipse and Java JPO star. So first we need to create a project with Maven. Uh, Maven. Then we need to add the uh, dependencies from the Maven. So I have added the ORG. JPOS and the JPOS 2.1.7 which is latest and text uh, I'm going to uh, create a class and give it with a class um, uh, here in this class I'm creating uh, ISO package with my configuration file of uh, XML which will have all the uh, field details so the field will have from uh, 0 to 1.8 fields uh, field from 0 to 1.8 fields in our uh, XML file. Each field has an importance object uh, its own uh, in own position. So if you see that uh, uh, for the position zero, the first field field zero, which will call it as a message type indicator. So using this message type indicator, it will uh, define what type of transaction we are sending to the POS machine. Whether it's a sale or whether it's a void or whether it's a balance inquiry, whether it's a uh, OTP request or whether uh, cancelling the cancelling the previous purchase. So based on the message type of which sent to the Rick server will be decided uh, using this MIT MT, MTI message type indicator. So the second field is bitmap. So using this bitmap, uh, Java server, uh, JPO server will identify what are the fields involved in that message. So yeah, and next uh, uh, there is an account number. So based on PAN account number, there is a processing code uh, amount which will be uh, uh, sent and the amount that will be settled. Uh, based on the different transactions, the, the value should be sent to the server using the external file. So after creating that uh, basic configuration file, I mean, you can get the config file from the Google itself. So you can search for the ISO wait for it package and you can uh, uh, take the basic XML file based on your uh, 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 based on based on your configuration. So we have different types of channels that we can use for communicating with the uh, by using this XML and uh, communicating with the master and slave on I mean, like client and uh, server and client and server. Uh, so here in we come to the main file. Uh, I have created ISO package uh, which will use my configuration uh, of my fields. And I'm creating a server channel here. With here, I'm using a ASCII channel. So we have multiple uh, channels in the JPOS that provided by, by default provided by uh, JPOS server. So currently, I'm using ASCII as a um, uh, channel mode of channel which I'm going to communicate. So we have another types of channels as well. So which is BCD, uh, BCD, BCD channel. So it's BCD. BCD channel, we have a BCD channel and uh, next if you go to the uh, packages where we have all this information you will, uh, we have 5 to 6 channels which we use for the communication and we can still you can uh, customize our channels by still extending these channels. So we have asking BCD MX channel base 24 uh, channel pool, CSC channel, uh, FSTC. So we ordered all types of channels what we have currently uh, with the JPOS. So if you want to extend of your uh, channel and uh, if you want to change the way uh, uh, of communication for your uh, communication between POS and the uh, uh, server, then we can extend these classes and we can change. Uh, we can uh, we can uh, write it our own code in our uh, uh, channel classes. So uh, as I'm not uh, using any uh, uh, ex custom communication channel, I'm using a default one which is provided by the JPOS server, so I'm using the ASCII channel. And here I'm creating the uh, server uh, with the port number and the channel what we're using. So we are using the ASCII channel here. Uh, and next I'm adding my listener, my actual code. Uh, where my uh, method has to be override, method has to be take care uh, for this uh, each and every request. So we here I am adding the more, uh, listener, my listener here. Uh, 
this is my class which I'm creating here. So I'm using here. So for this ISO listener, uh, we need to we going to implement uh, uh, this prism method which uh, which we are uh, implementing. So uh, the ISO uh, ISO listener which we are extending implementing the ISO request listener, and this is the method which are going to work on on each request is uh, 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 each request can do server. So here, if you see that, and we are getting the channel of get socket uh, intent address, we are getting the address here, uh, and then uh, we are getting the address. Just this is just address is putting the address itself. So uh, just uh, and receiving the message, uh, receive message. So here in the receive message, message it will passing the ISO source and the ISO message. So ISO source will have a uh, sender address and the details of the uh, con connection established uh, uh, client uh, from the client client request client will have a client data from which we should task in and this is the message actually message what we have we can we got it from the uh, client okay so just we are not doing any validations here currently because actual mock and the temporary uh, server which to showcase so i am not implementing any of this uh, any of this uh, uh, conditions here so based on the each condition so let's take uh, we can put a fish condition here with the message type so if you just have to uh, 0 to double 0 then it will we will uh, send our uh, iso message uh, for validation to a uh, respective uh, uh, respective uh, transaction, let's say it's a uh, uh, transaction. And uh, if you send one one uh, zero one double zero, it's a different type of transaction. Uh, one three double zero, it's a zero three double zero, it's a type of a, a transaction. So here we can add a switch case. Here we can add a switch case, and we can send a message for validation to the respective transaction and process the respective transaction conditions so based on the based on the uh, transaction we need to specify what fields we require uh, what fields we require so if you're taking uh, if you decide the 0 to double zero as in a uh, sale transaction so what are the fields we require for sale tra transaction so we need an echo number and we need an amount which we using for the transaction uh, amount for the transaction and we need a pin pin uh, so we are doing with the uh, date and time where we are doing the uh, living on where we are doing the transaction merchant type first what type of merchant it is and uh, uh, plan country which from which country we are trying and uh, point of entry mode so what is the entry mode for this uh, uh, plan so how in the car uh, car sequence network identification point of sale condition so all our fields which are recorded all our fields which we record will sending in the will be sending on this request so for temporarily I'm, sending, I'm creating a simple basic request uh, basic request which are using uh, uh, some configuration file which are using uh, in our server and I'm sending a message with uh, MTI 0200 I mean sending the information required fields like I'm taking the, uh, some uh, predefined fields here so I'm trying to send a message to the server so let's start the server first so I'm starting the mock, uh, mock ISO site if I hit the server just I'm starting it yeah I've started it uh, yeah we got the message in the console like uh, ISO, ISO wait for the server started yeah now the message started now if you send the message from uh, this this is a sample request this is a sample request what you created so I'm running this yeah if you see that uh, this is from this is from sample request the message is sent to the server so here we don't have field 39 and uh, uh, here we have field 39 as a response so field 39, field 39 as a response so if you go to the field 39 here if you go to the field 39 it will response code here so if you get 00, zero it is a success if it if fails it is if if it is not equal to zero zero then uh, there is an error or except this is not not a valid response if you if your field thirty nine is not a zero zero okay so I am sending the uh, we got the response here and if you go to the server if you go to the server here so if you go to server what is still running here because the server it is receiving message message and this is a message it was received okay there is a message it was received uh, so the points to be noted here is that for each 
transaction uh, each type of transaction it will differ with the MTI message type indicator uh, and we need to uh, if you're doing the communication between master and slave I mean let's take server and client uh, server and client uh, the communication channel should be same on the both ends of the uh, client and then the master and if you are using any of the header so and here I am not using any of my header here so if you are using header validation for each and every transaction so we need to add the specific header from the respect to transaction as well and uh, uh, so and the most important point in the TCP uh, uh, ISO JPOS I8583 message communication if you don't send a valid message to your uh, uh, server it won't it will not respond to you forever so it will go into it will go into a loop and it will won't say you as it was success also for you it's a 404 to 5 to 500 like what it will say in HTTP protocol communication so if you are if you are not getting your response to your from your server then make sure that you are using right uh, channel, right headers, right message body to and right configuration file everything. So uh, based on your uh, uh, customization, if you change the configuration fields here, so if you change the field length from uh, length from two to three, then uh, your your message has to be the message what you're sending from your client should match with your server configuration file. So if both are not same, then uh, if both are not same, then your message is going to some different stage and it will understand the different it will understand it as a different message and uh, you will not get a response forever uh, thanks for using this friends